Katrina was a major hurricane and, and uh, we um, recommended it to the governor and uh, the governor approved mobilization of some 2,000 soldiers. You know, the hurricane began to intensify and it looked like landfall was expected in Louisiana probably on Monday. Uh, we mobilized another 2,000 so that we were at uh, about 4,000. Well, as the storm was coming in, of course, we went to bed that night. We knew it could be bad, but, uh, you know, who knew how bad? Well, we set up operations here at Jackson Barracks. That's where our operations center was at the time. The worst of the hurricane passed, the sun was coming out, and then the levees broke. Storm surge broke through the levee system on the Industrial Canal, and uh, Jackson Barracks was uh, underwater. Lieutenant Colonel Santos came running out of his corner office and said, sir, you got to come see this. There's water everywhere. And I thought he was picking at me. Looked out over the parade field, and there was probably about three or four foot of water at that time. Within about 30 minutes, we probably had 10 to 12 foot of water on what today is the parade field at Jackson Barracks. The Superdome was going south in a hurry. The convention Center was going south in a hurry. Yeah, the Superdome was originally a, a special needs shelter. And so it was, it was designed for about two, 3,000 patients. On Sunday before Katrina hit, the mayor decided it was going to be a shelter of last resort, and so the dynamics changed. You know, the tough work our soldiers did in the Superdome, you know, they were heroes. And I get a call from one of the pilots, and he said, hey, they want us to launch. Uh, and the winds were, the, you know, winds were still strong, but really right at our limit of when, when we could safely fly. And, and that was probably one of our biggest concerns at the time. By air, we rescued some 30,000 people. These were first-time rescues. And then another 29 or 30,000 that had been placed on high ground that we moved again to uh, a better location. We were running search and rescue operations out of the uh, Superdome. Uh, within the first three days, we probably picked up over 10,000 citizens that needed to be rescued. We accumulated up to about 60 aircraft. It was a tough time, I think, for all soldiers in Louisiana, but especially those who lived and worked in the New Orleans area, because not only were they responding to an emergency, they also had been affected um, by the emergency. 